And a big welcome back to Buchanan Park in sunny northwest Queensland. Here we are at the Mount Isa Rotary Rodeo. And of course, a packed house watches on as we get set to head into the final round of the Open Steer Wrestling. Of course, our final section, Byron Renfrey, our first cowboy, now grabs a hold of that steer, but unfortunately, a little tricky there. The cowboy today goes out with a no time here in our final round. Well, as we watch that back again, looks like Byron missed that inside horn. You'll see that he just fell straight off that. And by the look of it, he didn't get in close enough to that steer when he went down on it off his horse. Well, our next cowboy, Kieran Wall, this time, he's going to make sure he gets a good quick catch on that steer now. Makes no mistake. Steer making it a little bit difficult there for the cowboy to stand up and get his footing. Now the cowboy must stand up now. Twist, turn, and there it is. We've got a time on the board for Kieran Wall. Not as quick as he would have liked, Steve, and 11.3 will almost certainly put him out of the prize money. Well, you don't know, Guy, like a lot of things happen here at Mount Isa, and I've seen stranger things happen in these events here. There's a lot of pressure on these cowboys. Talking about a lot of pressure and cowboys that can handle it, Shane Kenny, Emerald Queensland cowboy. Look at this, the expertise of that cowboy. Looks like he's sitting on Grandma's rocking chair when he does that with a great time. 4.95 seconds. Steve, have a look at this as we replay again 12 times. Australian all-round champion cowboy makes it so easy. That's a great run. And that a lot of guys just actually work on pressure. And that's, that's one guy that actually certainly does. Well, having a look at this cowboy from Victoria, Paul Kenny, I tell you what, roughs it up with the best of them. Rides in the bull riding, steer wrestling, team roping and the rope and tie. This cowboy is a real all-round hand and a good time at 6.3 seconds for the Victorian cowboy. Paul Kenny. And from the southern tip of Australia to the northwest Queensland cowboy Mark Thompson now. Twist, turn, and toss. Hey, and another good time there for our local cowboy Mark Thompson with a time of 5.55 seconds. Yeah, well, certainly another good run, and obviously the local favourite right here. This guy comes from Mount Isa here, and he's out there to show what he can do in front of his local crowd, and he certainly does a great job. Well, of course, they always say the hometown rodeo is the hardest one to please at and a good time on the board of 5.55. Another North Queensland veteran, John Logan this time, works during the week as a helicopter pilot. Now, let's have a look at this one as he rides up. That steer certainly motoring down the arena, rips and toss and throws that steer over in great time, 6.65 seconds for the chopper pilot, John Logan. Well... Certainly unorthodox, I guess, but he got him down. He didn't miss that nose. He just went straight for the other horn and threw that steer right down. He certainly did. As we move down to Sydney, New South Wales cowboy Dave Jessett, another good quick time there on the board. These cowboys certainly getting their act together in this, our final round of the steer wrestling. And Dave comes in with a time of 6.3 seconds. Another one of our North Queensland favourites this time, Errol Frayne, also bull riding competitor and the steer wrestling. Look at that twist, turn and toss and a great quick snapping run there from Errol Frayne. 5.25 seconds and that's a good time, Steve. Copybook style, that guy, and that is why he is the Australian champion and I think he's going to win a lot more to come and you know he's just showing his wares right here and I don't think you could do that any better. Well, at the 50th annual Mount Isa Rotary Rodeo, that cowboy there takes out uh, the lead so far. We move down to Victorian cowboy Terry Everson this time, but unfortunately, as we saw Terry and the rope and tie a little earlier on have a great run. Not such good luck in this our final round of the steer wrestling. Ryan Sainsbury, our next cowboy this time. A little bit of trouble there with that steer running over next to the chutes. And I tell you what, Steve, that's the last thing you want to have happen in that run there with the cowboy, Ryan Sainsbury. He's out with a no time. Certainly is. Leading the competition and coming out there and do that, he's not going to be very happy at all. Talking about leading the competition, Errol Frayne, he is our champion for this year's 50th annual anniversary rodeo. 10.7 seconds, Mark Thompson 11.9, Sydney Cowboy Dave Jessett with 11.95. Well, of course, there they are, the champion Cowboys being paraded around our arena here this afternoon. And, of course, our winner, of course, none other than Errol Frayne with that great time, 10.95 seconds. He is our 2008 Steer Wrestling Champion. Yeah, hi, um, I'm Errol Frayne. I've just won the steer us on that Mount Isa Rodeo. Um, it's good to come to these big shows and, and draw good cattle and, and see good horses and see good runs. And, um, very grateful. Um, it's a true blessing to come to the big show and win, win it. So, um, yeah, looking forward to come back next year. Just play second in the steer us on Mount Isa. Um, 
Home town is the biggest rodeo in Australia, so I'm pretty happy. Placed third in the open steer wrestling today here at Mount Isa, and uh, we've come up from uh, Sydney Way up near Goulburn, travel up here, traveled a lot of miles to uh, come up and compete here at the rodeo, and it's been a great weekend. Placed fourth in the first round, and placed again now, and placed third in the average. Here we are back with the Open Bull Ride final round here this afternoon at Buchanan Park in northwest Queensland. Nick Dawson, the cowboy, on the bull gold digger. Down here, shoot number six. Have a look at this one. Now, Steve, you'll certainly know of all people, the twist and the turns here and the spinning around to the right, really making it difficult for the young cowboy. Certainly was, and he again started a good bull ride. He had that outside foot work, and, but it, the bull drew him down into that well again. And once again, he's in the well and hung up that bull. Well, as we can see, Time Life magazine said that this is the most dangerous sport in the world of any. And that's exactly why we can see Nick Dawson, unfortunately, a no score in our final round of the open bull ride. We see that bull jumping good, kicking out there good. The guy's using that outside foot, just keeping in time with that bull. He just drops him right down there in the well, brings him over that bull's back, and then drags him right down in the well. And, and again, hung up and that's a bad position you, you can be in and he's there trying to pull that rope out right now well someone who's not wanting to pull that bull rope out is luke davidson down in shoot number seven on the bull how you doing this time out the arena got a great high kicking bull well unfortunately there for luke off before the eight seconds are no score here this afternoon but what great potential steve he's got a lot of potential that guy but he's on a big strong bull there to dominate. Well, a great bull there for the Cowboy, Luke Davidson, but a little too strong. Darcy Smith, the Cowboy, down here in shoot number eight. On a little bull that packs plenty of punch, and unfortunately, yet another victim to the bulls here this afternoon. And I'll tell you what, Steve, a great credit to some of the contractors that provide these bulls. Oh, look, we've certainly got the best bulls in the country right here at Mount Isa this weekend. 